guys, in the fast lane here. Uh, today I just happen to be working on my scooter and I cleaned the carburetor out and the main jet and all that. It was running a little rough. But uh, today I'm going to show you how to pretty much change your spark plug and how to properly gap it. What you're going to want to do with, with these GY6s is basically you're going to pull the spark plug wire out right here. Set that aside and then you'll get yourself a 17 millimeter socket. You'll shove it down in there with a 3 8 ratchet and then go ahead and break it loose. Mine's already broke loose. Go ahead and take it out and then we'll bring it over to the desk and have a look at it. Requirement for the gap is 22 to 24 thousandths of an inch. Uh, before you go gapping it, basically you if you've ran your spark plug before you can go ahead and read what's going on with this spark plug and if you look here it's it's pretty much a uh, little bit dark black so that means it's running rich I got a 105 jet with a 24 millimeter carb it's a 125 cc carburetor on a 50 cc scooter uh, basically mine's running a little rich and that's okay I'm alright with that but you want to make sure that your gap is set proper because if it's not then you could be blowing spark out and getting some breakup and all that also if you're running tan on the top here that's okay you don't want to be running white if you're run running white you're running lean I'm gonna go ahead and gap mine at 23 thousandths or 0.584 millimeters and that's right in between the two basically all you do is just grab your spark plug and you're gonna want to tap just the tip not too hard you don't want to close it up completely, but mine's over gapped. When I put this in here, this feeler gauge, it's just it's really uh, loose, so it's not even close. So I'm going to go ahead and a couple taps, double check it, and yeah, that one smash it down. So we need to get it in there. So gently put it in there, just like that. So we got it in there. Put it in again feels nice and loose not too tight you can come out on its own and that's it that's 23 thousandths right there another tip is get anti-seize and put a little bit on the threads so for future uninstalls it's not a bear to get the spark plug out all this stuff can be purchased underneath my video it'll say shop this video in the description I always pin a link to the top comments or under the video if you're on my website it'll say shop this video underneath the video so take a little bit of this anti-seize same stuff you use on brakes for the uh, the guides and you're just gonna touch it right on the threads just a little bit not too much then you can take your fingers and just kinda roll the rest around just like that and that's good now for the installment you just kinda pretty much find the hole Just hand tighten it at first, kind of wiggle it back and forth and hand tighten it and then get the socket, 17 millimeter, put it all the way in there, hand tighten it all the way until you get to the back and then we're just going to use a little wrench, 3 8 and just give it a little maybe half inch turn forward. So it's all the way in right there, I'm going to go ahead and set the 3 8 wrench in the right direction, just like that gonna give it a little just a little turn like that maybe an inch or two till it gets tight that's it you don't want to overdo it or strip it then you take your plug wire line it up until you hear it click just like that and that's it I'm gonna go ahead and start it up now what it was doing before is it was basically breaking up I get it full throttle and it would just choke up. I thought it was bad gas. My carburetor did have some problems. I went ahead and cleaned out the main and idle jet. Uh, so pretty much we're going to go ahead and start it and see what we get. 